Hi everyone. Today let us learn the flowchart of the circulatory system. Yes, circulatory system is nothing but a transport system. It transport the materials from one part of a body to the different parts of a body, isn't it? It transport the useful material like di digested food and the oxygen, and it also collect the waste products and carbon dioxide from the different parts of a body and helps to remove out of the body. Okay, let us see the flow chart. Circulatory system consists of three major components known as the heart, the blood and the blood vessels. Okay, the heart is the main organ of the circulatory system. It pumps blood to the entire body with the help of the blood vessels, isn't it? The heart is divided into two parts, right and left. Each part contains two chambers known as auricles and ventricles. Okay. In the auricles, you can see the right auricle and the left auricle. In ventricles, you can see right ventricle and the left ventricle. Let us see the functions. Okay, what is the function of the right auricle? It receives the deoxygenated blood. What is the function of the left auricle? It receives the oxygenated blood. What is deoxygenated blood? The blood which is rich in carbon dioxide. What is oxygenated blood? The blood rich in oxygen. This right ventricle receives the deoxygenated blood from the right auricle. This left ventricle receives the oxygenated blood from the left auricle. Blood. Blood is a fluid. It has red in color. Why the blood is red in color? It has a pigment called as hemoglobin. This blood carries the useful material from one part to the different part of a body. It carries like digested food and the oxygen. It also carries the waste products and the carbon dioxide which helps to remove out of the body. Here are the blood vessels. You know the heart pumps blood to the different part of a body with the help of blood vessel. Blood vessel look like a tube like structure. They connect. There is a network like connection. Blood vessels are of three types. Arteries, veins and capillaries. This artery is distributing blood vessels. They collect the oxygenated blood. This artery is divided into two parts. Pulmonary artery and iota. This pulmonary artery takes the deoxygenated blood to the lungs from the right ventricles. Okay. It takes the deoxygenated blood to the lungs. This iota receives the oxygenated blood and supply to the, to the different parts of a body veins are of the veins veins is a collecting blood vessels they collect the deoxygenated blood blood which is rich in carbon dioxide veins are of three types superior vena cava inferior vena cava inferior vena cava pulmonary veins this superior vena cava collects the deoxygenated blood from the upper part of a body head and neck okay this inferior vena cava collects the deoxygenated blood from the lower part of a body known as legs and arms. They both release the deoxygenated blood into the right auricle. So this right, right auricle receives the deoxygenated blood. Again this right auricle push the deoxygenated blood to the right ventricle. Okay. This pulmonary veins. Pulmonary Pulmonary veins receives the oxygenated blood from the lungs. The oxygenated, what is this oxygenated blood? Blood rich in oxygen. They receive oxygenated blood from the lungs. This pulmonary veins push the oxygenated blood to the left auricle. This left auricle pushes the oxygenated blood to the left ventricle. Then this left ventricle pumps the oxygenated blood to the iota then this iota supplies the oxygenated blood to the different parts of a body isn't it okay this is a short brief explanation of the flowchart of the circulatory system if you like this video please like and subscribe my channel thank you